Well, hey there, it's Mr. Malte. I'm here on a Chromebook. I love this new screen record feature around this little bubble. It's so cool. Now, let's get ourselves in these Chromebooks, okay? Once you turn it on, you open it up, you got your keyboard down, you can look, and your name might be one of the ones in this list. So you might look and there's your name, you can click on your name, put in your password. Maybe your teacher is the nicest person ever and they, they put that username in already. That's a lot of work, but you can do it all on your own. So if you don't see your name in this list, we're going to add you to this Chromebook. So go down to the bottom and you look for that little add person symbol, ADD. So a add person, it's a little like person kind of symbol down there. So click add person, <laughs> white box will pop up. Got it. Remember teachers, pause whenever your class, you know, when I ask you to do something, you're going to need to pause probably every single time. You probably pause me a million times. You probably wish you had this in real life to pause me, but so add person, white box pops up. Hopefully your teacher gave you a card that has your username and your password, maybe in different colors. That'd be super awesome. So um, the first thing you're gonna do is your username. It is your first name, followed by the first part of your last name, the first letter of your last name. So you might see whew, Liam B and then four numbers. So your name, last initial, four numbers. And then once you type that in, it's going to take you a minute. If it's grade one, it might take you a long minute. You might need some help with uh, the EAs, any other grown-ups in the room, or maybe a grade six class who came down. That'd be awesome. But either way, typing that username and we are pressing the enter key or the next that's on our screen. There's a little next button right below. So get your username and press next. We'll pause here and some of the speedy ones are going to get to the password screen. Okay, if you're playing this video again, that means you have put in your usernames and you're now on the password screen. But your password is, it is two letters from your name, four numbers, two more letters. And you're going to press next or OK. If it's grade one or the very first time you're using a Chromebook, you're brand new, you might get a little white screen that pops up. You have to scroll down and press accept or allow. I can't remember which one it says, but either way, boom, good to go. Pause again until everyone is on the same page. And we should get on the Chromebooks and we'll be on engaging students. Just All right. So press play again once you are all here. Beauty. All right. First thing I want to do is can we uh, go up and down, scroll up and down on this web page? There are at least four ways you can do this. Some of you have a touch screen and you're just already yeah, up and down. Easy peasy. So what are those four ways you can go up and down? Whew. Hopefully someone said arrow keys. Got your arrow keys on the actual keyboard. <laughs> Got another one. I like to do the sidebar up and down. Who's got another one? Whew. Two fingers. Remember, it's not one fat finger. It's not finger yoga. It's just a little bit wide, bunny ears. And it's on your trackpad. And it's just down and up, down and up. Practice that. Arrow keys, sidebar. Did you see me scrolling? Some of you might stumble on, ooh, space bar takes me all the way down. Did you know holding down the shift key on the space bar takes you up to the top? Find that shift key. Spacebar gets you down, shift space takes you up. Boom. Four ways you can scroll up and down. Pause, play with that. That's great. Go for it. Next thing. Minimizing, closing, all that fun stuff. So up at the corner. Vroom, right up there. <laughs> I love this. There's a little minimize button. Right up there. Can you press that minimize? It's gone. If I press the beach ball, it's back. Beach ball again, it's gone. <laughs> I could do that for a long time. So practice minimizing, making it big. The real name is minimize. Minimize, make it big. Then finally, minimize, stay right here. Remember your two fingers? Let's go over here to the center of our screen. Two finger click, boom. Get that box to pop up. One finger to get rid of it. 
And it might work with two fingers to get rid of it, but for later on, a single click is what you need to get rid of white boxes. So if ever you're on any website and a white box pops up, I don't want you to go, teacher, help me, because that's not going to get rid of it with two fingers. One finger anywhere else is going to get rid of that. So when there's a white box that pops up, you don't get to raise your hand and go, there's a white box. If there's an X, click the X, and you can click off to the side, click off to the side, so those things disappear. So sometimes you get pop-ups, you got to get rid of those things all on your own. Right? So, two fingers, make the box pop up, make it disappear with one. Do that a bunch of times. Teachers, if you hear noise, you can actually, my friends, do that with zero sound whatsoever. Can you be sneaky ninjas? You can be a sneaky ninja with your trackpad and make that box pop up. Pop, 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 pop. All right. As a reward, go ahead. Set wallpaper and style. Boom. Get some cool pictures in here. Make, make your wallpaper pop. Get something else. Imaginary? Sure. Ooh, I don't know if I like these. Nope, I don't like that. Claymation. Ha! Heritage. Oh, look at these ones. This is cool. That's it. And you can even click change daily. It'll kind of go through these, give you something new and fun all the time. And then get rid of that. Okay? Come on back. You do the right click, set wallpaper and style, change that picture to something else, and you can do it. It's great. Boom. Back on engaging students. Whew. Now, my friends, I would like you to click anything on this page. I want us to get lost. Grade four, what? And then I would like us to get back to our home page. Now, some of you might see, oh, you know what? I still see it up there as a tab. Ah. So go ahead and click anything. You could click this tab to get back there. But you could also, I really want you to know about the home page. If you're ever lost, click home page, takes you back. Boom, it should take you back to engaging students probably. All right, so get used to that. Click on anything. And then click on the home page to take you back to engaging students. Practice that up. Okay? Anywhere. Get lost. Then click on the home page to get you on back. Awesome. Okay. Good. Now, how many pages do I have open right now? I have four pages open. One, two, three, four. I don't need all those. X. X. I'll keep this one open. So sometimes I see computers, students, teachers working on things, and they have the same thing open about three or four times. So keep an eye on your tabs. If you open up too many tabs, it will slow down your Chromebook. Absolutely. All right. So there's your tabs. Make sure you know how to open them up. If you ever just, you know, close your whole thing down, whoops, you can open it back up with the beach ball. If you're ever working on something, here's a super awesome shortcut for teachers. You're working on something and you didn't mean to close it. Whoops. Control shift T opens it back up. Control shift T, hold on, control and shift the T. So teachers, make sure you know that shortcut. Okay, I think that was a lot. Just make sure you go through, just practice those things. I often work with classes in grade two, three, even higher, and just, you know, tabs, you know, something happened and they just went to a new tab. So make sure you're managing those tabs, working out how to close them with the X. So open up some tabs, close them with the X. Make sure you know that home button, you know the difference between minimize and close. And if you ever have this, don't be working with your screen half on. All right, full screen. My goodness. <laughs> there you go. Anything else? One last thing is let's get to classroom and let's do our first actual skills creativity thing. So, my friends, I have put Google Classroom in a few places. I've put it here on this page right below. If you scroll a little bit, whoops. There's Google Classroom there. You could also go to a new tab, move my face out of the way, and there's your apps, Waffle, your apps launcher. You can put Classroom there. So let's get to Classroom, and we're going to start creating in Google Slides. Good job. Rock and roll.